to the body of the car. In contrast to the related Tiguan, there are complaints. After the first winter season, the paint swells at the chipped areas. This phenomenon can be observed on all four doors and in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B rear wheel arches. During the warranty period, dealers almost always repaint damaged parts, but subsequently these procedures have to be carried out at their own expense. It's good that a very practical dark gray skirt made of unpainted plastic around the perimeter allows owners to protect the car from body repairs, for example, during contact parking. By the way, the almost complete absence of chrome parts also saved us from the eternal problem in megacities salted in winter, there is nothing special to become cloudy. It's a shame that it's not just the exterior that detects problems. After some time, the coating of chrome parts that decorate the interior of the car begins to bubble, which leads to shedding of the decor. Dealers exchange these embellishments for new glitters without unnecessary bickering, but the likelihood of relapse remains quite high. In addition, the owners of Yeti, as, indeed, of a number of other models of the Volkswagen concern, can be pestered by extraneous sounds coming from under the bottom. These are loose fuel pipes rattling. The talkative fuel filter also contributes. Some owners eliminate this problem proactively by replacing it with a non-original part, for example, Connect KL572. Transmission. The six-speed manual gearboxes are not only exemplary in their selectivity, but also very reliable. Some owners of front-wheel drive Yeti complain of difficult shifting from first to second gear in cold weather. We advise you to just wait until the oil warms up. After 5 to 10 minutes after the start of the trip, this problem will disappear. But with two-pedal modifications, everything is not so simple. The 7-speed robot DSG with two drive clutches DQ200 turned out to be quite problematic. Already with a run of 20,000 to 30,000 kilometers, two main units could fail mechatronics unit or the clutches themselves. Within the factory warranty, the owner could count on free resuscitation of the gearbox. However, after a while, the box could run out again, and then it was already necessary to solve the problem for your own money. And if you're lucky, then thanks to the Colons, that is, the loyalty program from Volkswagen, when part of the costs is borne by the representative office of the brand. In the summer of 2012, the German concern introduced additional warranty conditions for the DQ200, 5 years or 150,000 kilometers from the date the car was handed over to the first buyer. Moreover, this warranty applies not only to problem nodes, but to the entire gearbox as a whole. So even a 3-year-old Yeti with a 7-speed DSG will not incur additional costs for the second owner for at least 2 more years. Keep in mind that this box is considered maintenance-free so the requirement of some dealers to undergo MOT in the post-warranty period to fulfill the additional obligations of the group is absolutely illegal. I must say that later this box was significantly upgraded, so copies released from January 2014 do not fall under the extended warranty. And this spring, the owners of the old DQ200S began to be invited to an unscheduled replacement of synthetic oil with mineral oil, a corresponding revocable company is operating on this account. One way or another, the best choice remains the six-speed robot DQ250, which can only be obtained on the all-wheel drive Yeti. These machines are equipped with the Haldix coupling, which has no special comments. The main thing is to change the oil in it every 60,000 kilometers. And although official documents do not require filter replacement during this procedure, it should not be neglected. Engine. At first, the base 105 horsepower engine could upset its owner with unstable operation at low temperatures and a diesel-like rumble already at a range of 25,000 kilometers. The reason lay in the stretching of the timing chain and the poor performance of its tensioner. Subsequently, the node was upgraded, so there should not be such a problem on copies of 2011. But the turbine is able to annoy to this day, at the moment of its death, the inscription, check the engine, appears on the onboard computer screen while the motor rests against the limiter at around 1500 RPM. At the end of 2011, the problem was supposed to be fixed with the new firmware, but things are still there. Due to the modest working volume, the engine takes too long to reach the operating temperature of the coolant, as a result of which the interior warms up in the cold for a painfully long time. Only since the beginning of 2012, Yeti 1.2 TSI appeared in Russia with an additional heater, an electric air dryer introduced into the ventilation system, which partly solved the problem. The 122 horsepower 1.4 TSI turned out to be less capricious. 
The problem with pulling the timing chain here occurs mainly in cases where the car often remains in gear on a slope. So we strongly recommend using the handbrake. Here, however, it is worth making a reservation. In Russia, such Yeti began to be sold only at the beginning of 2012, so it is rather difficult to find such a copy on the secondary market. The 152 horsepower modification with all-wheel drive is much more interesting. Excellent dynamics and moderate fuel consumption will clearly please the first owner. However, after running in, the 1.8-liter engine may begin to eat up oil. However, if the consumption does not exceed 1 liter per thousand kilometers, this is not considered a malfunction. In addition, the timing chain can be pulled out in the timing drive, and although it is supposedly designed for the entire life of the car, after a run of 100,000 kilometers it must be replaced preventively. And yet the 140 horsepower turbo diesel turned out to be the most reliable. The motor perfectly tolerates frosty starts, is quite adapted to our fuel and at the same time is traditionally economical. Due to the high price of the new Yeti 2.0 TDI in the secondary market, it is difficult to find such an option. And the minus of this motor, one might say, is only one, rather noisy operation and noticeable vibration. Suspension and Steering I'm glad that the Yeti suspension and steering rack do not cause big worries to the owners, especially if the car is operated on asphalt roads within the city limits. But highway speeds, along with small defects in the roadway, can make themselves felt pretty soon. Among the sore problems, one can note the knock of the stabilizer struts, which can begin to annoy already at 10,000 to 20,000 kilometers. Even the servicemen themselves confirm that these expensive parts can be safely attributed to consumables. Sometimes, already at 30,000 kilometers, wheel bearings can also give up. In this case, it is better not to start the problem, but immediately send the car to the service so that the hub does not jam. It is worth noting that official dealers do not change the bearings separately, you will have to purchase the assembly assembly. And one more thing, we do not recommend looking for craftsmen on the side, bearing pressing out is filigree work, and savings in this case are unlikely to be justified.